Well, today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, we're talking all about window cleaning growth hacks, how to grow some simple things to think about. But either way, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What is up? Hey, if it's your first time here, have a look around. We have hundreds of episodes. It's every single Friday. It comes out everywhere podcasts are. YouTube, if you want to watch the video or put it on the background. Uh, I more have a face for radio, so maybe a podcast is for you. Uh, But either way, I appreciate you being here. And to you, epic cool kids to everybody who watches the show but more importantly shameless plug put your orders in through me thank you 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 every week i say thank you and so many of you hundreds of you just put in orders through me or like put everything in your cart and then you're like jersey put my order in it absolutely means the world to me really i i say it so often it loses its value But for everybody out there who lets me put the order in, thank you. I make cheddar on it. It costs you nothing extra. I hope I make your life easier and you have a guy. And I'm your guy. So virtual high five to all of you awesome, awesome people. And there's another level of Cool Kid. By the way, new Cool Kid stickers should be in this week, by the way. Series 3. If you have first run, uh, there's first run. There's second run. Third run's coming in. Um... As soon as we have them, if you want to put an order in, tell me and I'll get you a new sticker. If you are an epic cool kid, that means you do all that stuff. Shameless plug number two. You've got an American Window Cleaner magazine. The greatest and best magazine ever from window cleaners. And I know. You're asking yourself, magazines? I thought print is dead. I do not like PDFs. We have PDFs. If you ever want to read the magazine, go to awcmag.com and read the PDF. But I like to have a magazine in my hand. I like to have the pages. I like to have the articles. And I like to have the stickers, as you can clearly see. I also really, really like the posters. The posters. Yeah, there's a poster of Steve-O. You want a poster of Steve-O? Yeah. Forget Steve-O. Uh, no, but uh, if you also want to get printed, if you're listening to this, uh, just send pictures, high res pictures, to awcmagazine at gmail.com. Um, you're going to send that to Rhea. She's going to take care of all that for you, uh, and um, we'll get you published. So, anyway, okay, shameless plugs done. But today, we're talking all about window cleaning growth hacks. Now, Let me start off by saying there's a lot of things that I'm really, 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 really value. I I really think that there's other things too. So don't just think that these are just, these are some ones that we don't talk about a lot, but that you could focus on. And for most, all of them cost you zero dollars. Zero dollars. That's what we're talking about today. Growth hacks that cost you nothing. Now, you know I love SEO, right? Justin Monk SEO phenomenally blows stuff out of the water. I love Justin. Um, I know that you, some of you know um, that I do some private coaching lessons. I usually I'm, I'm, I'm booked up. I don't do a ton. That's not really what it is. I do have availabilities right now, by the way, if anybody wants to do uh, coaching, uh, just send me a message. But, um, on all that stuff, that's all paid stuff. Paid stuff is awesome. You get so much value from that, but there's a lot of things out there that you can do for free that just kind of changes the way that you handle things, and they have such an impact. Such an impact. Here's one thing. You've seen it online. You've seen Facebook. You've seen all the other things that people are. Uh, by the way, if you're on TikTok, I'm on TikTok. We should be friends. Follow me. Uh, Jersey underscore WCR Nation. Just search WCR Nation. You'll find it. I think it's even a hashtag. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> um, but there's a few things that it just kind of changes your mindset, right? There's there's certain things that are out there that that 
when you see high growth companies, Facebook and, and all these other things where these guys are talking about first year doing 100K, second year doing 250,000. I know guys that have done a million dollar a year before they were even 21. By the way, he is an absolutely amazing person. But there's certain things that are focused on. And a lot of times we get kind of lazy in business. We just do, right? You get to a certain point, you're like, man, I'm so busy, I can't focus you. All of a sudden, like six months later, you're like, all right, I gotta lock it down and do this. Well, you just missed six months of changing your mindset. You just missed six months of doing this, right? And these are some of those hacks that people kind of let to the wayside. And when I say them, people go, oh man, so easy. Why didn't I think of that? Well, it's because you get busy, your mind goes somewhere else and you focus on different things. People think that to grow, you need to have new business, right? Oh man, I gotta sell, I gotta sell, I gotta advertise, I gotta sell, I gotta... That's cool, right? That obviously is a huge part of it, but there's so many things that you touch daily that you can just blow out of the water. You can just blow out of the water. But maybe things you haven't thought about. The first one is just staying relevant. When you tell me, and I've had people say this, and I'm not talking directly to you. This isn't anybody specific. But people have told me that I don't bug my customers. You know, When they want me, they'll call me. That is absolutely 100% the wrong thing to think. You will never be the company you could be by thinking that way, ever. And I'll tell you why. Let me, let me give you the good old example I always do of McDonald's, right? McDonald's is a huge company, right? Everybody, if you can speak, right, you're above two, you know what a McDonald's is. Even if you don't eat there or you hate all their food, but then secretly you eat it, all of that, you know what a McDonald's is. You know what they have. You probably can sing one of their jingles, right? Two all beef patty special, right? Whatever. You can do that. You remember their commercials. You know the, the arches. They could have the logo with no name and you would know, right? You know all of it, even if you don't eat there. Now, they still spend millions every year on advertising. And it is not at all, not 1% to get new people. It's not. No one in a buying age, because of how they did it, right? No one who's over 18, now they're in a buying state, they have money themselves, has not eaten at a McDonald's already. It just hasn't existed. So they're not advertising ever to new people. What they are doing is staying relevant. When I bring up McDonald's or a Big Mac, that may have just triggered something in your head. You're like, oh, yeah, man, I remember Big Macs, dude. They're so good. Whatever. I've had a Big Mac one time in all my life, by the way. And I know what it is in my head. I know what it is. I could see it. I could see the picture. I could see it. But what McDonald's does is they stay relevant. They advertise in magazine, newspaper, radio, TV commercial, ba 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 ba, right? We all know that stuff. And it's just to stay relevant. It's just to remind you hey, we're here. That billboard you see on the highway with an arrow and a big juicy cheeseburger saying, it didn't advertise. It didn't do anything. It just said, hey. You're hungry right now? Well, I don't know where you should eat, but remember we exist. Staying relevant is huge and people forget about it. They think oh, I'm relative. Everybody already knows who I am. Nah, my customers know me. Well, some of them probably do, but how do they know you? Because if you're doing window cleaning, even if you're doing it every th six months, right? You're doing the dentist clothes, which I'm not gonna talk about. It's absolutely world changing. It will change your life. On top of that, on top of that, you are needing someone to find you again. So if that person, they're going to probably forget your name. Maybe they'll remember what it sounds like, but they're not remembering your number. They're not remembering any of that stuff. They're just knowing that, oh, it's time to clean my windows again. I should call, uh, what's his name? What's that? You know, the one with the bird on the logo, That the, the guy, you know. 
They have to look up all their stuff and they have to find you. They have to find you. Well, guess what? Eventually, those people may not find you. They may find somebody else. They may think that that other person is you. They may accidentally hire somebody else thinking it was you. But that's because you just didn't stay relevant. People only think about window cleaners when they need to clean windows. You don't see window cleaners or even notice us out in the field. Unless you're a window cleaner, especially if you're new, you'll notice us, especially on route. But people don't notice window cleaners just in a general day to day. So you have to stay relevant. Send out postcards, email blasts, right? Send stuff to them. Be always in front of them so that when it is time for them to go, you're relevant. Send out EDDM. Send out postcards, right? That all costs money, but what about the free side? Email blasts, absolutely free. Use MailChimp. Collect everybody's email, and all you do is just send something once a month saying, hey, this is what we got going on this month. Is it almost time for your windows? Right? Just once a month, you're in front of them. If you could be in front of them every day, which I know we can't be, but if you could be, then the minute that they think about window cleaning, oh yeah, I saw it earlier today. I have the number. It's going to trigger me to buy. If you're not in front of them, they have to then find you. You have to stay relevant. And you have a lot of things to stay relevant. Not just window cleaning, right? Different things you do. No one wants a newsletter that you explain how, you know, whatever things that has nothing to do. Nobody, nobody wants to be your friend as a window cleaner. What they do want is just to know who you are and be reminded of you. And you have to figure out what works best in your market for that. Another thing that is absolutely free that people are not doing, I guarantee 100% of you are not doing this. 100% of you are not doing this. And it's answering every call. Now, as somebody who does sales myself, I'm on the phone uh, all day, all day, every day, phone, uh, text. I text hundreds of people. A, a week, I have 100 plus different people. On a busy Monday alone, I'll do I'll text 40 different people. So my biggest goal is to answer everybody, every time, everything that comes in when I'm in the office. Every time. But if you're out in the field cleaning, it can't happen. Get yourself out of the field. Get yourself an answering service, which does cost money, right? Obviously, if you have employees, have them answer phones. Answer every call because here's what happens. I know you think, oh, I'm the best. Everybody knows I'm the best. So, of course, they're going to wait for me. No, they're not. No, they're not. 75%. I'm throwing dumb numbers out, by the way. None of these percentages are real. But I bet you three quarters of the people will call you. You don't answer. They call the next guy. Especially the new ones. Because if I call a window cleaner and I really, really like you, maybe I'll leave a message. Maybe I'll shoot you that text, right? But if you're not answering the call to somebody new, they're going to go just in Google, go to the next one. Nope, didn't answer. Next one. Nope, next one. Nope, next one. Right? None of your competition are answering their phones. I call window cleaners for a living. I know that. <laughs> you guys don't answer your phones. Right? So, so many of you, the saying is that you're in business to go out of business. You have to answer every call. I guarantee you, by the way, if you're out of the field, or the time you do get out of the field, people say, oh, man, as soon as I got out of the field, like I didn't actually do the window cleaners, my business skyrocketed from day one. And the answer and the reason is, is because you answer your phone. You answer your calls. If you can't answer your calls, someone needs to answer your calls. The worst thing about an answering service, which I'm really on the, on the fence, it's better that an answering service answers than to go to a voicemail, but it still sucks. And you're paying for that. But an answering service, all they do is answer and take a message. It's all they do. So it's like a voicemail, but with somebody. The biggest thing is, is if somebody calls and goes, hey, thanks for calling XYZ Window Cleaning. How can I help you? And you go, oh, I'm just looking for a quote. You're always going to give them your information. With a voicemail, as soon as I get a voicemail, then instead of that, it's a voicemail that says, thank you for calling. I'm going to hang up, right? So it does get you a better yield, but... It's still not getting people while they need it right then and there. Now, if that answering service gives you the message and you call them right back instantly, that is 
doing something relevant, right? If someone's hungry, show them a cheeseburger. That's the thing. If they're calling you right now, they want window cleaning. Window cleaning is our life, but it is not everybody else's life. They don't care. Nobody cares. So if you don't sell them window cleaning while they want window cleaning, they're just going to forget about it until six months from now, right? Answer every call if you can. Another thing that you can do that helps with new people is give away free money. Let me, let me preface that. You're like, well, that costs money. Well, no, you're not actually giving them money. What I am doing is plastic gift cards. If you haven't heard the plastic gift cards, it's a theory I've beaten like a dead horse, but here we go one more time. A plastic gift card is a plastic business card. You can get them at, a, at cost printing right through windowcleaner.com. But I make it look like a gift card and I put a dollar amount. My dollar amount is always 25 bucks. It looks like a gift card. There's even a magnetic stripe on the back that is just painted on. I actually have them play, paint a black stripe on there. And even a signature spot. I have all that printed on there because I'll never take a partial. I never have to swipe it. You don't need an actual magnetic strip. Those cost more. But I print it on there. It looks like a gift card. And here's what I do. Every single person I talk to, if I'm on the street, if I'm anything, somebody go, hey, excuse me, do you have a business card? Go, oh, yeah, hold on. Oh, you know what? I don't have a business card on me, but I have some gift certificates. Let me give you this gift card. Uh, it's for $25 uh, off. Just take that. Use that off your first service. The e information's on the back. Phone number um, and the uh, website's on there. Take a look at us. And uh, yeah, all free estimates. We give free instant estimates. Super nice. Uh, we'd love to get you as a customer. I just gave them money, right? If I give them a business card, they'll hold on to it until they don't need my business card. A gift card, look in your wallet or purse. You have a, a gift card with 38 cents from Starbucks still in your wallet because you can't get rid of it. It's money. So they're going to keep your gift card. They're reusable. So now you're getting a better bang for your buck because when you get them back, I wipe them down with a little bit of Lysol, put them back in the rotation. Right? I give them to everybody. It doesn't really cost me $25. Because I didn't pay the $25. I just didn't make as much as I would have normally. And I'm telling you, you're getting a new customer out of it. Even existing customers I do that for. The big thing is, is if you give money away, people will come to you. Same thing with donations for charities and uh, silent auctions. Always give gift certificates. It doesn't really cost you any money to have somebody use one of those. It gives you exposure. It helps you grow. When I give plastic gift cards away to everybody, I start getting them back all the time. All the time, which means people have them. They save them. They look at them. Back in the day, you remember refrigerator magnets? Everybody wanted a refrigerator magnet because people had... No, nobody does that really anymore, right? I have a stainless steel refrigerator. I don't even think the magnets fit to it, maybe. I don't know. I don't have magnets on my refrigerator. So refrigerator magnets were great because people kept them why not get something in their wallet in their purse in their whatever plastic gift cards right you're gonna get business cards anyway plastic gift cards cost almost the same if you're buying good business cards and they're reusable so technically cost you money but technically i just saved you money <laughs> um another thing that you can do it's absolutely free is Getting the biggest and best sales force around. I mean, like, well, salesmen cost money. No, not when you do it like this. A salesman like me, I make money when I sell a job. Or what I should say when I sell equipment, because I don't sell jobs anymore. But if you call me and you said, hey, uh, I need a water fed setup. I'd be like, awesome, cool, let's talk about it. Get you set up, figure out what you need. And then when I put the order in, I make the money, right? That is a commission salesperson. But if I have a friend who does HVAC, anytime and every time somebody I hear talks about HVAC, I'm going to give them your number because they're my friend. I want to do that for them. Now, the big thing is, is that you built a rapport with your people. You don't suck. If you were a terrible person, it would be really hard for you to make connections with people, right? 
if you're really dry and no one can connect with you and you're just awkward and weird, in your head you may think that, but you wouldn't be able to build the following that you have, right? If you have a hard time getting people back, it may be because of your personality. That part you may want to work on. And before anybody's like, oh, this guy said I don't have a personality. You know, listen, you need fans, not customers, right? So building that up, how you get the best sales force is by just letting people know, hey, just so you know, we're a small business. We thrive. We exist. We love reviews. If you review or talk to your friends and know anybody, here's some more plastic gift cards for you to send. Let, let your friends know. If you, if you do take a couple seconds, just jump on Google, leave us a review. That literally mean a lot to me. I mean, we see all the reviews that come in. It just, it means a lot that people take the time out of their day to help a little company like mine, right? If you use a company like Nice Job, which by the way, Nice Job is great. If you use a company like that and they are raking in the reviews for you, they're helping remind people to get the reviews, reviews start coming in. Now all of a sudden, you're a company with 500 Google reviews. The next closest guy's got 30. Everybody's gonna call you. Everybody will call you over everybody else because you're proven. All that takes is just asking. People sometimes hesitate, like, ah, oh, I'd hate to ask, they're busy, you know, ask. If you ask, people realize that you want that or need that, right? If you ask, people genuinely wanna help you. They like you. You say, hey, this would really help me out if you left me a review, guess what they're gonna do? They're absolutely going to leave you a review. If you send them an email a week later, hey, I just wanna make sure everything was good. If there was any issues, please let me know. By the way, a reminder we have you set, if you're doing the dentist close, six months from now, it's on this date between these times, right? If you haven't yet, please leave us a review. Here's the link. We'd love it. I know it takes a couple minutes out of your time, but I would genuinely appreciate it. Thank you so much for everything. That little follow-up email, which could to the point be automated. All you're doing is drop in a date, right? It's a template. That email will get you more people selling your service. There will make more people telling the world about you. Because here's the thing, and I've had this, and you've probably had this, but I have customers who are some of my best salesmen. I have customers who have sold a dozen jobs. Oh, Pat, Pat told me to call you. Oh, I talked to Pat over the weekend, and she said that she loved you. Like, those people are going out of their way to sell you because they have a connection with you. They really genuinely want to help your business. Let them know that you're helping your business. When somebody doesn't know a review, they just don't think about it. But say, hey, reviews make my business. I am a small family business. Referrals, telling your friends about me, it just it genuinely helps. Thank you. It will get people to do that. It will get people to help you. But you have to ask. And it's free to ask. Another one is selling more. If you are in business doing window cleaning, I guarantee you more than likely don't just do one kind of window cleaning, right? If you do inside and outside window cleaning, you also do just outs. If you do just outs, more than likely you're doing some other service, right? If you're doing just outs and nothing else, tell me I'm crazy to know. But a big thing that people do is they don't like the pushy upsell, right? Nobody does. You don't have to be pushy. No one ever, not ever, in all of the world, ever in history, has been mad, again at McDonald's, for saying, oh, would you like fries with that? Did you want to make that a meal? All they're doing is asking the question, but they're upselling. Uh, yeah, I'll take a double cheeseburger. Did you want to make that a meal? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Well, they just upsold you. They doubled your price of your, your meal right? Because they asked a question. If you do the same thing with window cleaning, you can increase 
profits. It doesn't cost you any extra. And you're not pissing anybody off. People always think, oh, man, my customers would not like it if I was always trying to shove stuff down their throat. Then don't shove it down their throat. Just bring it up. The hardest thing that we do as business owners, especially small business owners, is it's very, very hard for us to disconnect our heads from what we think about the business to actually implementing it, right? People go, oh, uh, you know, I uh, I don't let my customers know. I don't want to bother them. I couldn't do the dentist close. <laughs> I'm like, trying to force people to get more service. What? What are you talking about? Your dentist does that every time. They just assume. Does this appointment work? Same time works good for you. We got an appointment six months from now, blah, 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 blah. Here's the date. Why can't you do that? It's not bothering people. You leave someone's house, they're happy. If you could do that every month for them, they'd be happy every month. How is that bad? How is that bad? Not ever. Are you at the dentist? They're like, oh, was this time work for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. Uh, okay, how about six months from now? And you're like, oh, no, thank you. I can't believe you even asked. God, I'm never coming back here. What? No, nobody does that right? A lot of the time, like upselling, upselling is just telling people at the time of service, the other services that you do. Hey, I know you have a setup for uh, every, you know, inside and outside, but uh, I'd love to do just your outsides. Do you think about, ever think about doing that every, say every month, just so the outsides are nice? It's going to cut your, pr- uh, cut your price way down and your windows always really look nice. And it's really the outsides that really get dirty faster. Insides, you could always spot through between our services. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you asked that. Oh, oh. Hey, we were up, and I noticed you got a bunch of trees around. You know we do gutter cleaning too. Did you want us to add that on? Just uh, take care of the gutters for you? Uh, by the way, this is a spring one. I don't know if you got your gutters cleaned uh, last year. They look pretty good, but uh, did you want to get gutter service scheduled for six months from now in the lease fall? Oh my gosh, how dare you? How dare you ask me if my gutters need to be done? People freak out that they don't want to bring this stuff up. They have some kind of forgetful thing, and they're thinking pushy car salesman. But guess what? When you go buy a car, you still go in and talk to somebody, right? Are there bad salesmen? Yeah. You don't have to be a salesman. All you have to do is explain what you do. Just so you know, when we pulled up, I, I did notice those black streaks in your on your uh, roof. I, I know you probably noticed those. That's a type of algae on there. Uh, we do roof cleaning. I wanted to bring that up to you. I know it's uh, not a service that a lot of people know about, but what we do is we treat that all with a uh, mixture of sodium hypochlorite and a surfactant, um, clean all that off. It brightens it up and looks almost like new again. Uh, gets you a little bit more uh, curb appeal, of course, and it's a lot cheaper than buying a new roof we can schedule you in for uh two weeks from now actually our crew will be out here wow really oh geez yeah no one's offended they've noticed it they've seen it your job is to help them your job is as a luxury to provide services you're just providing services and telling them what else you did i know i've said this a hundred times too but i did a uh um survey i love surveys i love info i love all that but i did this to my customers all my customers for a month one month 30 days or whatever it was and it was 10 items so i broke it way down like do you know we do inside windows or inside and outside outside gutter cleaning you know um um screen repair roof cleaning pressure washing gutter re- i did it so there was 10 services you know what the average I got back was on the survey. How many of these services do you know we provide? How many of these services did you know we were provide? How many of these services did you already know that we provided from information we've given, right? Three. It was three out of 10. It blew me away. We do so much advertising to all of our people, emails, postcards, stuffers in the envelopes. And people knew three. Three. That means, A, I wasn't doing a good enough job letting people know the other services we offer, but how much things just go right by you. You might have seen an ad 
today that you didn't even know you was an ad, right? Stuff just floats by. You have to trigger something in people's brain. There is no such thing as over-advertising. There isn't. Because advertising does not annoy people. Unless it's a commercial on their favorite fill-in-the-blank, right? But if you just let people know you do all that stuff, they need to know. You sell more to the people who already trust, like, and love you. They already trust you. Why not sell them more services? Make them happier. Help them. They're already going to have their gutters cleaned if they're not doing it themselves. They're going to have pressure washing down their houses green, the windows. They're already doing this stuff. They don't own a dumpster. They're paying you to do the windows. And if they're paying you to do the windows, they're probably going to pay somebody to do the rest of the stuff. Let them know what you do. Speaking of what I do, I'm a sales rep for windowcleaner.com. So if you need any type of supplies, any type of supplies, call me at 862-312-2026. That's my cell phone. So text me, call me, whatever. I text a lot more, by the way. And uh, do me the best favor ever. On top of that, go to awcmag.com and get your magazine subscription. Get your magazine subscription. It would be absolutely amazing to do that. Um, I would genuinely appreciate it. You can also buy stickers. There's a giant sticker pack, by the way. Uh, Jen, who works with American Window Cleaner Magazine, has created some really, really good uh, packages that are absolutely amazing. So go there, check it out, buy some stuff, help support the industry. And until next week, go out there and be epic.